Hey, welcome to Mommy's Chef. This is Katrina, and today we're making carrot cake. This is how I make my recipe. So I start whipping the egg whites, and that's three egg whites. And I'm gonna list the rest of the list of ingredients on recipe on the description box. And I'm also gonna put it in either my left hand side or my right hand side, <laughs> directly linked to my website. Okay? So we're gonna start fluffing these up. Okay, so most of the carrot cake recipes are really heavy and taste more like a bread instead of a cake. So I want to make mine lighter and I've developed this recipe over the years and this is how I go. So once I whip my egg whites, I'm pretty stiff and I'm going to add my egg yolk. This is how my mom bakes all her cakes and she makes really good cakes. <laughs> and now I'm going to add my sugar and that was one and third of a cup of sugar. And see how the mold See how thick it is? If this carrot cake doesn't have any butter, you want to make like a type of mayonnaise kind of mixture. And Katrina, can you slowly incorporate my oil? And that's half a cup of oil. And you want to use a vegetable oil that's flavorless. And so we're making that thick mixture. I was supposed to be slow, but it's okay. Because <laughs> we want to emulsify this and make it into a like really creamy mixture. And that's going to create a really light carrot cake. Check it out. See how thick this? is? So I'm going to take one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda and whisk that along with... It's one and one third of flour and one and a half teaspoons of... Cinnamon. And I'm going to whisk that all together. And make sure you really whisk it. This eliminates the process of something because I'm really lazy. I hate something. I'd rather do this. And then I'm going to add, well, she does this. I'm going to lightly add it. Okay, so I found the finest grade of um, carrots. So you want to use a grade really fine. I hate when you get like a really big piece of carrot in the carrot cake. This just shows lace it. Plus, it doesn't really bake as well. So you want to, like, grate it really thin. Okay. Yeah, teaspoon yeah. of vanilla. I always forget the vanilla. <laughs> okay, so I'm gently folding my carrots into my batter composer paste. There you go. And Katrina, you want to add my the dry ingredients? And then I'm going to lightly fold in my dry ingredients. And you want to add, and we're going to add walnuts to this. Actually, pecans. Walnuts or they had a recall or something. Recalls. So just half a cup of finely chopped uh, pecans or walnuts. So see how soft this bottle is? That's what you want. You don't want a really cakey one. I mean like a doughy one. I don't like that. Once just as soon as it's incorporated, stop folding. We're pouring the batter and it's gonna bake at 350 for a long 45 to 50 minutes. And could you help me decipher my recipe because I haven't made it in a long time. <laughs> my handwriting is horrible. Thank you for help. She was excited. <laughs> I was excited. Because <laughs> I usually remember that I haven't made it in so long. I totally forgot. Okay. I'm going to start with one stick of butter. And Katrina's going to add one stick of cream cheese. And then we're going to blend it all together. Yep. That's what we're going to do. And it's nice and smooth. Yep. So we're going to add three and a half cups of powdered sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> so we split our cake in half and now we're just going to frost the inside and put it back together. Ooh, cake! So I'm going to place it, and this is the best way to do it. I invert it into a plate and then kind of center it and keep frosting. So you want to start with a really thin uh, layer, and this is called the crumb layer. So it prevents the transfer of crumbs. So I'm just wiping it in. And I made this um, cake for my friend Cicely's wedding, and everyone really loved it. And I did actually do a layer out of um, uh, red velvet uh, carrot cake and banana cake. So, And her husband really likes uh, carrot cake, that's why I made it. So I'm making, come closer please. I'm making our little carrots. So I start piping and just gently let go with the 
because it gets stuck in there. It's a little carrot. So, um, I'm just using star frosting. And with that, I just cut a circle. And this one is kind of a planted edge. And there's our little leaf of our carrot. And keep going. And that should, and that should be. Like mommy as a chef on your favorite social media. Thank you for watching. Tell oh, see the comment down below and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye!